Let's move up to uh, this hair up here. Um, I'm between haircuts. I don't know what to do right now. It's getting a little long. I've been putting off getting a haircut because I go to the same place every time. The same lady always does it. Last time I went in, she wasn't there. So I was about to leave and the cashier goes, no, don't leave. Julie's here. Julie can cut your hair. And then I met Julie and she had a tattoo of hair cutting scissors and a blow dryer on her forearm. So I was like, oh, hell yeah, right? Like, <laughs> Julie's got this. Julie's committed to the hair cutting game. And then Julie gave me the worst haircut I ever got in my life. And that's when I learned that tattoos are not credentials. Did you know that? <laughs> you can get a tattoo of anything you want. It doesn't make you an expert. It just means you think the thing is cool or you feel connected to it. You can get a tattoo of a bird. It doesn't mean you're an expert in birds. You can get a tattoo of a baseball. It doesn't mean you know anything about baseball or you can throw a ball. You can get a tattoo of a Bible verse, John 3.16. It doesn't mean God is real. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> My girlfriend has a tattoo of a compass. We've been together for three years. It doesn't mean she has any idea what direction our relationship is going. <laughs> I've been telling that joke uh, for a long time and uh, I do gotta say it was a lot more fun to tell before she broke up with me. Um, <laughs> because it turns out she did know what direction our relationship was going. <laughs> South, but... As a comedy audience, I hope you appreciate how difficult it is to use misdirection in a joke about a compass. Okay, the groaning is not helping, okay? You can't use the groaning. The groaning's gonna be hard to edit out. <laughs>